In this example, let's read it. A loan of a thousand, hundred thousand is repaid by means of ten semi annual payments of X rand each. If interest on the loan is charged at 16% per annum, compounded semi annually. Determine X if the first payment is made at the end of the first half year. Determine the semi annual payments. If the first payment is made uh, is in six months time um, and if a deposit of 15,000 was given okay so again let us as always start with a timeline very important we start with a timeline so there's our timeline and let's do a down or more down is our timeline. This is the beginning and this is the end. It's made in how many years go by? Okay. It's made in 10 semi annual payments. Okay, so there's 10 semi annual payments. Now there's two, um, three, four, ten, one, two, three, four, five, one, two. 3, 4, 5. Okay, so more or less, these are my 10 payments. And let's just put in some of the information. This is 0. This is my first payment. My second payment. Now that's in one year's time. Okay, then this, um, in my second year, I made my third, fourth, all the way up to my 10th payment. I don't have to put in everything. Okay, but at every point, I am paying X amount. I don't know how much it is, but I do know initially I had a hundred thousand that was borrowed. Now this hundred thousand is the present value. It's how much the bank offered to give me for this X amount that I'm going to pay. Or if I tell the bank, listen, I will pay in back in 10 payments every six months, making one payment. How much will you give me now? And the bank said, okay, um, if, if, if you're 100,000, you're going to pay back this amount. We want to work out what is that, that amount. So our present value of 10 payments is equal to 100,000. We don't know, need to know the future value, but uh, we do know that the, the future value of the loan is zero at the end of 10 years. Okay, the future value of the loan in the 10 years is zero. So let's determine the monthly payment. So just here they say that the first payment is made at the end of the first half year. So here's the first half year, the first semi-annual uh, event, and it's made, there's the first payment made. Okay, and we can go ahead and see, okay, well that is quite simple. Here's my formula. All I need to do is substitute and solve. So please, please try and keep in mind to always start with a formula then do your substitution. Now your substitution may look uh, different. Um, I, I prefer by writing down each variable and its value so that I can have everything nicely indicated. So um, interest. What is my interest? Remember it's my interest per payment. So whenever you get to I, alarm bell should go off. Ding, 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 ding. Go and work out interest per payment we get 16% per annum but we are only paying every six months we're not paying yearly we're paying every six months which means I'm actually doing 8% half of that each time I'm paying I'm paying 8% and uh, that needs to be divided by uh, to get rid of the percentage we divide by 100 as well so 0.8 0 0.8 sorry I don't want to say 0.08 and N is my number of payments. I'm going to make a total of 10 payments. And lovely, lovely. We put this into our equation. Everything P is replaced by 100,000. X is unknown. 1 minus 1 plus I is 0, 0,08 to the power. And this is actually where, you, where the major difference comes in. The exponent is negative, negative 10. And, and just as a sneak little cheat, that 10 represents how many payments I have left. So how many payments do I have left? In the beginning, 
my present value is 100,000, that's how much I still owe, and I've got 10 payments left, which means, um, yeah, that's just the relationship between the present value and N. Okay, I'm sorry, not zero for my eight, zero for my eight. And using our calculator, what do we get? Okay, we take, first we take 100,000 and we divide, multiply by the denominator on the right hand side. So 100,000 is multiplied with 0 0.08, giving me 8,000. And that 8,000 must be divided by the bracket on the other side. So I divide with the bracket, which is 1 minus, in another bracket, 1 plus 0 0.08 to the power of 10, but negative 10. And we close our brackets, and we get an answer of 14,902. So x is equal to 14,902, comma, 95. That is how much he must pay every month for, uh, sorry, every six months for five years or for ten payments. Now, if you go and multiply this in by ten, it shows you how much he's paid in total. How much he paid in total? 150,000. He's paid back 150,000, so he's actually, this loan is costing him 50,000 there in the long run. Okay, let's just answer that second question quickly. Determine the semi-annual payment. If the first payment is made in six months, so same thing, but this time a deposit of 15,000 was given. So here we go on our timeline, what is changing? Only thing changing is that initially I pay fifteen thousand once off, which means I don't have a hundred thousand debt anymore. I only have eighty five thousand debt. I paid a deposit. So what is a deposit? A deposit is an, uh, an initial payment that reduces your present value. A deposit reduces your present value. So now we are not owing 100,000 anymore. So this whole thing changes so that I'm only owing 85,000 and the rest of it all stays the same. Which means to calculate x, I had to multiply, divide, uh, multiply both sides with 0, 0,08 and divide both sides with um, 1 minus 1 plus 0, 0, 0,08 to the power of 10. Using the calculator, 8,500, sorry, 85,000 times 0 0.08 gives me 6,800. That gets divided by this whole bracket, 1 minus, and in brackets we have 1 plus 0 0.08, close our brackets, to the power of 10 with a negative, okay, close our brackets, and there we see we get our answer of 12,667. So x is equal to 12,667 rand and 51 cents. 51 cents. So, reducing my end, my monthly payment, uh, sorry, my six monthly payment by almost oh, more than 2,000 rand by just making an initial deposit of 15,000 rand. Cool. Okay. Um, or we look at one more example. A loan is amortized by 24 monthly payments of 2,000 Rand each, made into an ordinary annuity with interest charged at 14% per annum compounded monthly. Determine the value of the loan. Okay. So how much will a bank give you if you pay back 24 monthly payments of 2,000 Rand? So we've got how much Will it be worth now if I make 24 payments, my first payment being 
made into an ordinary annuity if they don't stay to our students in one month's time of 2,000 rand. So I'm going to X this time, I know it's 2,000 each time. 2,000, 2,000 each time, all the way up for 24 payments, I pay 2,000. And this simply again, let's start by using our formula. And writing down everything that we do know. Okay, we do not know the present value, the value of the loan they're willing to give me. We do know the monthly payment. Okay. We do know the number of payments made is 24. And it is monthly payments, but they have given me annual interest. At least it is compounded monthly. In other words, I do need to take that 14% 14, 14 and divide it by 12. And if we divide by 1200, and I'm going to leave it like that. And this I can substitute into my formula right here. PN is already solved. So I get 2000 times 1 minus 1 plus 14 over 1200 to the power of negative 24 divided by 14 over 1200. Using our calculator, I think we're going to get that answer very easily. So 2000 is multiplied in brackets with 1 minus. And another pair of brackets, 1 plus. 14 over 1200, close our brackets to the exponent of 24 but negative 24, we close our brackets in the numerator and divide with the denominator, so let's just put the denominator in brackets as well otherwise we might just divide with 14 and divide with 1200, where in fact we're dividing with 14 that is divided by 1200, so let's just show it in brackets and I promise you will get a different answer if you didn't put that in brackets okay and there we go 41,655 and 47 no 49 that is the value of the loan they would give us if we pay back 2,000 Rand Uh, 49. There you go. I don't think these problems are too difficult, but they do take some practicing and getting used to. I hope you enjoy giving someone your own now.